Uh, pharmacist education today is anywhere from six to eight years. It's a doctoral level program. Uh, pharmacists are trained to do drug therapy management. This is the maximum extension uh, working with a physician on drug therapy management where the pharmacist is actually making the suggestion based on evaluating all of the um, evidence as it's presented. Ultimately, that's what the pharmacist is trained for. The physician does diagnosis, does uh, direction of the care. The management in and itself would be by the pharmacist in a collaborative way. Instead of standing on your feet and counting pills, you'd have the opportunity to, to see patients and see them get better based on their efforts. And that would be rewarding in and itself. That book is your blood pressure. <laughs> takes good care of herself. She's Yeah, so this helps us understand what's going on in between visits. So the blood pressure's running about 123 over 64, which is perfect. And you're still taking your aspirin like you're supposed to? Oh yeah, I take but see, she put me on a uh, baby aspirin. Oh, I take that. I've been taking that for the last eight years. Uh, Celebrex, and that has aspirin in it. No, it doesn't have aspirin in it, but it'll help the swelling. Uh, you're taking one Celebrex a day. One a day. See, this is what I want. To, oh shoot! This is what I want to talk to you about. So will that take the place of the Celebrex? Uh huh. I'm gonna go back on this. Was that helping? Yeah, you? but she gave me something else for pain. That's what I'm. Okay, but it's not going to pay. I'm a little confused on this. This is what they're not going to pay for this. Your insurance. Yeah, so, yeah. But understand. they will pay for that one. Yeah. Okay. But then she recommended this one for pain instead of the one that I was taking. All right, so that's <laughs> number one. Okay. Number two is you're still taking the enalapril for your pressure. Right? Yeah, that's. that's okay. Now your pressure is still high, honey. Yeah. 